Now here's a problem that bullet drop compensation shouldn't be a problem for. But we're not interested in him. We're interested in one of his relations. The Dasi or Rock Hyrax is a rabbit-sized rodent that's a bit of a pest in southern Africa. Today we're going to knock a few over with a 17 HMR, but first we need to zero our Zeiss Duralit Blazer Rifle Combo. I thought we were going to go for something like elephants. Today. Are we, are we not? <laughs> we're the family of, family of the elephant. So tell me about this Dasi or Hyrax. What is it? Rock Hyrax. Um, it's actually, <laughs> for me, it was, a, um, it was a fun way to exercise, actually, with my hunting. In the south, they are heavy on them. They don't like them. It's the same as with the jackal, because apparently, I think it's two or three, I'm not sure, dasis or hyrax, um, they eat the same amount as one sheep of grass per day. Because they're like super rabbits. Exactly, yeah. So, well, the family from the elephant, so I mean, obviously. There we go. And um, then for my first time, I had to shoot with the 22, the Dasi, but I had to shoot 10 out of 10. 10, 10 bullets, 10 Dasi. Before I, before I can go to a bigger caliber, and then it was 5 out of 5, and then after that, I could shoot my first springbok. With the rifle zeroed at 100 metres, we are off to Dassey Central before it gets too dark. But we have to sit it out for a five minute break, waiting for this lanky jaywalker to do her thing. When we arrive, the place is crawling with Dassies. Carl finds a solid rest over the dashboard. Once the House of Hyrax has settled, he shoots and misses. He does the same thing again, giving this one a centre parting. Something is going seriously wrong. Wow. He goes to investigate the shot. Carl is amazed that he is missing and thinks that it's because he's zeroed in at 100 and he's shooting out to just half that distance and at an angle. Then he makes a big mistake. He fiddles with the knob on the scope. Yeah, it was shooting, shooting a bit high because the distance is much shorter. The shooting range is 100 meters. And here we're also shooting upwards. So, so you're reserving, oh. reserving to 50? Yeah, I'm just letting it drop a few, like an inch or two, because it's just this high. I can see where the bullet hit. Yeah. And then I can see, I can remember where it was sitting. So I tried it like that. And this is what happens when you fiddle. Another miss. This exercise brings into the frame the vexed question of holdover and bullet drop. To set the record straight, we need to wheel out the young pretender and wheel in the experts. Darren Hull from Blaser and Stefan Buring from Zeiss have spent the day explaining the dark arts of bullet drop. They're here to ensure shooters no longer have to lose sleep when their target has the cheek to be anything but precisely 100 metres away. Carl reckoned, and whether he was right or he was wrong, that there may have been a, a bullet drop problem with those dassies. Can you explain what bullet drop is? OK, if we put that into uh, looking at the field of sight from a scope, technically then speaking, it would almost look like the, the barrel is pointing upwards. So you have your trajectory coming out over the sight line and then dropping back down again, depending on how the rifle has also been zeroed. Um, for example, if the rifle has been zeroed at 100 metres, then the, the rise will just come up to the side of line and drop back down again. If we zero in at plus four at 100 metres, then we have at 100 metres four centimetres high, which means I cross twice over the uh, line of the scope. The ingenious solution to bullet drop is now a couple of clicks away, thanks to Zeiss's ASV system. You sight it in on 100 metres with the ammunition you use here like a 300 Winchester Magnum or 338 Blazer, whatever, 306. Then you go to the computer. Um, do, there we have all the ammunitions and you can enter the ammunition, you can enter the bullet and then you can see exactly which ring fits to your bullet drop. So you can then open this here, you change the ring to exactly to the ring you need put this on zero here and then you're ready to go. So when you shoot afterwards on 200 meters, you just lift the ring, move it 
to the indicator which says 200 meter and then you're ready to go. You always can shoot that on. When you move to 300 meters, you can just shoot 300 meters. So you're not losing the reference to the 100 meter zero point. With that in mind, let's take the 17 HMR rifle back out and have another go at those dassies. This time it's Darren and Mark on the trigger, and this time we have a lot more success. We put the slow-mo camera on the back of the scope and it shows the devastating impact of this flat shooting round. Although Carl doesn't like the idea of Dassies being on any menu, these little rodents will not be wasted. Mark and Darren collect them up and put them in the back of the Toyota Hilux, or should that be the Toyota Hyrax? They'll be used to feed some hungry orphaned cheetahs back at the lodge.